Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here at Music with Ryan. Uh, for today, what I want to do is I want to go over a little pick review for you and discuss um, and talk about some of the picks, the newer picks I've been using, and I'm going to be talking about a big one today, and that is the blue chip picks. I drop my pick here. Um, and the blue chip picks, and I'm sure some of you have, um, you know, heard about these guys and or have used them. And if not, uh, they are top of the line picks, and they certainly cost a few bucks. I, they start at 35 and up, and I know that might sound crazy, but to you know the serious hobby player and professional, having a nice pick can really make a big difference for you. So I was actually able to meet the owner and creator over at Blue Chip Picks, uh, Matthew, down in Tennessee. I met him when I was at Winfield Festival um, a couple months ago in September. And he let me try out a couple picks, let me take home a couple and share a review with you guys and gals out there. So I'm not, you know, I'm not an affiliate for them, I'm not making any money if you purchase them. I got a couple free picks, that's about it. Um, and they're sweet picks. Again, they're top of line. If you go to their site, bluechippick.net, you'll see reviews from like all these major top artists, you know, Chris Teeley and uh, Brian Sutton, and they got banjo mandolin picks, so they got all these people. Uh, Grammy Award winners uh, over there, you know, talking about their picks, and um, I, I understand why for sure. And I've had a couple in the past, but I got to be a little bit more uh, specific when I got to sit down and he had a bunch laid out, and I got to choose a couple that I really liked. So let's get into it here. So I uh, picked up. I've been using more of a teardrop shape lately, and so I got the TD40, which means teardrop 40, and that's the one millimeter, so a little bit lighter than I usually play with. Um, and I probably maybe would get just a little bit thicker one, maybe the TD50 if I had to choose again, but it's forcing me to be more gentle in my right hand. So kind of the way, I've been playing for a couple months, and kind of the way I've been, uh, you know, try, I've been trying to figure out how to describe these as best as possible, and they're just a great combination of like crisp, and warm and round you know it's not one or the other it's all of them and like really clear like that's the way I best describe it. it's just these clear like pristine tonality that it's providing and along with that I feel like it's like silky smooth going across the strings in the right hand I feel like I can get around faster and better and there's just less resistance the way that the material hits you know and interacts with the string so it's just really nice it's, again clear nice and bright so yeah um, the TD, they have a bunch of different shapes and sizes. So if you go over there, you know, there's like mandolin and banjo picks and dobro picks, and there's all these different shapes as well. So they got the teardrop. And then I also got the um, TP1R, uh, which means there's one rounded corner. So this one's, you know, a little bit bigger, kind of a mandolin shape, although I would use it for guitar, no problem. Um, but it's got two pointed edges and then one rounder edge. Sometimes I like a little bit rounder tone or fatter tone, and I'll get that with the rounded edge. There's more surface area. Sometimes when I play some fiddle tunes, I kind of like to get just, again, uh, a fatter tone. And that is worried about speed. Provides a little bit of that instead of a little bit more, you know, if it's the skinny edge, it's the pointed edge, a little, uh, a little sharper. A little more punctuation, right? And just a little bit sharper uh, how it comes across. And with these, um, especially this one right here, this TD40, I see myself using this like as a solo performer or a duet performing with another guitar, just really lots of nice. Uh, silky smooth guitar and um, again pristine sound you can kind of hear everything I just feel like the pick is just like even 
Um, you know, some of the cheaper picks, if you play with, you get sometimes like a little scratchy. They don't certainly, they're certainly a little bit more dead in the volume. Like, I feel like I'm lighter over here in the right hand, but I'm still getting the volume and all the tonality still is, I'm still getting, pulling that from my guitar because of the pick, the material, the way it interacts with the strings. It's just like pulling it forward and I'm doing less work, you know. Um, you know, it's not like it's not like they're a, a magic trick or anything like they make you sound wonderful. But if you play with cheap picks and then you went and bought a nice pick, you know how big a difference it can really make. Um, like I said, these picks start at like 35 bucks and up. And so, yeah, they're expensive. And some of you might be a little crazy, but to the serious hobby player, to the professional, um, you know, that sometimes buying a nice pick can well, it does make a big difference in your tonality. And I don't lose picks, um, so, you know, I have this, I'll have these forever. Um, they got some other stuff over there, too. They got a bunch of gear and other uh, accessories and stuff like that. And they got, you know, a little pick holder. I can put my nice picks in here. Um, I know some of you have seen me do other pick reviews. And, uh, you know, I have my nice picks kind of just hanging around my desk or my practice area and I just pick them up and use them you know one for a while a couple months and then another one for a couple months and so I'm always kind of constantly using you know I have a handful of nice picks probably have like a hundred dollars worth of nice picks hanging around or more now but so yeah um these blue chip picks uh, again at bluechippick.net and I will leave a link down below there's lots of different choices out there, I know, but like the TD is the teardrop, and they have different thicknesses. Um, this 40 is the lightest one, so one millimeter. And if I had to do it again, I'd probably get a 50, but again, this is making me kind of be lighter in the right hand, and I like that, because I'm trying to do less work, and I'm still getting the volume, and it's still cutting, and it's still, I mean, I don't know, the tone is fantastic. These picks are top of the line picks and a lot of professional players use them. I mean, um, they kind of have like quote unquote cutting edge technology with the material they're making. So you can read all about that at the site. But um, so if I play a little something more. My guitar is just a Taylor 110E. It's just a $600 guitar, you know, base model of, you know, their, all their series or whatever. And the strings are just Martin mediums. Um, but I feel like the picks really just, I'm getting everything from it. Um, and this is a nice, you know, again, a tool that's bringing forth the best tone possible. Um, and I like the rounder edge ones too. Um, I used to play with the rounder edge like all the time, like religiously, but I've been trying to get a little bit more speed and so, and that's kind of nice what they have. A lot of these, these picks here, they have, again, two pointed edges in one round or two round and one pointed edge. You can get all different kinds at, at the site and choose from them. So it's kind of nice, give you a little bit option depending on what you're playing. Um, certainly, I don't see many other uh, pick makers doing that. So that's pretty sweet. But if, uh, so the rounded edge. picks head on over again they're again top of the line and no one repeat myself but they are they are and they've been that way for a while um and they're just really silky smooth allowing me to get a, i feel like they're good across the string so nice um just there's not friction and there's not deadness there's just bright it's clean it's clear um and so they're a treat to play so 
uh, for the holidays. Maybe you pick one up as a gift or a gift one to a friend. It would certainly be awesome to have this pick in their hand. They would be, I, I promise you, be impressed with the tone um, and just everything they have to offer. So, yeah, give them a check. Uh, give them a look. Blue chip pick. They got a bunch of different uh, sizes. They got some other accessories over there, too, if you get into them. But, um, yeah, the blue chips, they're nice picks. All right? So uh, give it a look. That's all I got to say for this week. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.